wait, mm. wait. Leave them on, cause I like my woman tall. Kevin McCall, quadruple threat, singer, songwriter, rapper, producer. Talk to me about your first kind of break into the industry, into, into the music business. What was your first, uh, your first break? First break. Met a guy in MySpace, Andre Merritt, who's a songwriter. He ended up writing um, two number one hits with Chris, Disturbia and Forever. Those were uh, huge records. Also, on the other side, um, I had a frat brother named um, Joardis Ratty, Big Mio. He created Crump Dance. So I met Chris through both of those angles, and I was able to brush shoulders with him and leave an impression on him with my music. You know, just from being around. What's your relationship like? You guys good friends? Or is it more business? Or do you guys actually hang outside of the studio yeah, as well? Yeah, like, um, I, I can't hoop or anything. So I would say I talk trash to him on the court, but, um, that's but you can't thing. back it up. I can't, <laughs> man. But our relationship is one in which, you know, I look up to him because, in a sense, although he's a little younger than me, he's a vet in the game, and there's a lot to learn from him. And then with me living the lifestyle I've lived and going to college and playing football, he looks up to me too. So it was a cool relationship. We respect each other. You wrote Deuces right. and you're also on the song. Tell me that story. Um, I had already did In My Zone 1 with Chris. Mixtape got a lot of good feedback. He linked up with Tiger to do a, a new mixtape called Fan of a Fan. And um, I sent him beats and songs for that. But I said, in the meantime, listen to the song I want to come up with for my, for my uh, artist side. And he was like, no, I need that for Fan of a Fan. I'm like, well, if I give you that, what am I going to come out with? Because that was the song you really right. wanted, so that was going to be I don't know why I liked right it. Now. I just liked it. I didn't even get, you know, great feedback from everybody, but I knew it was a different song. I knew it was special. So I fought him about it. Like, no, I can't give you that. Like, man, I get that record. And I was like, well, what am I gonna come out with? If I give you that, he was like, you can stay on it. And I'm tripping, I ain't no hate. He let me stay on it. Tiger did his verse, killed it. Chris brought some new magic to it, made it even, even better. And we didn't expect it to go number one off the mixtape, but it did. It, did. it broke some, some records. The single, Naked. Mm -hmm. You also have a song with Chris Brown, you're on Chris Brown strip. So it's naked and strip. Are you an exhibitionist? <laughs> By any job. Well, you already told me you took your yeah, shirt off. So you know, yeah. it's been an ongoing thing. Uh, I actually lost the talent show one time because I did that. I thought sex was sale. And they told me, you know what? Use your gift, use your voice. You don't have to show your body. But um, the title naked, when you hear that, you think taboo. But when they see the video, um, I think it's gonna really surprise me because it's really high class, upscale, fashion. We're in art galleries, we're in suits. You know, the women are looking beautiful. It's gonna be a great video. It's your boy Kevin K. Mac McCall, and you're watching GlobalGrind.com.